Hey, what's up guys? So today I have a Galaxy S7 from Verizon with uh, Android 6.0.1 June 1st, 2016 security patch. Um, of course, I've tried all of Root Junkie's videos. I've tried a couple other methods and couldn't get into this phone. For some reason, uh, you know, real term, when you go to send the serial commands, or the AT commands to the serial port for the modem, uh, none of that worked. I tried the share methods, I tried a couple other things, and none of it would get me into this phone for some reason. Uh, so this is only for the Verizon version of this phone. Uh, you will need an active Verizon account in order to get into part of this, and you're also going to need uh, another phone in order to tether it as a hotspot. So here's what you do. Uh, from the main screen you'll go next. Now what I've done already, uh, the top the top Wi-Fi there, that's my iPhone. I have it connected to that right now. The one below it that says I fix it, that's my Wi-Fi network. Uh, I already connected to the I fix it network beforehand. Uh, that way it would save the password for it and automatically connect when it finds it. Uh, but right now I have it connected to the iPhone network. Um, I can't show you this next part because I'm actually recording on my iPhone. But basically what you do is once you're connected to iPhone, um, you know, or whatever your, uh, your hotspot name is, you'll click next. And as soon as it says uh, the software update, you're going to disable your, your hotspot on your other phone. And it should take you to another screen, which... Uh, as soon as I turn mine off and do this, I'll show you guys. Alright, so like I said, uh, what I did was as soon as it says that it was checking for software updates, I disabled the hotspot on my iPhone. And as long as you get to this screen here where it says cut and sign in, you don't have a network connection, um, you can go ahead and click next. Now, I don't know if you can see up at the top or not, but since I had the, uh, the password saved for my other Wi-Fi network, it's already automatically connected. Uh, so that's a good thing. So from here we'll click next. Click next. I'll just go ahead and say no thanks. You can set that up later and click skip. Skip anyway. Alright, now from here, I've already went through and unchecked all these boxes. Uh, click on Google Terms of Service down here at the bottom. Alright, now you can scroll down and just find any kind of text and you'll press and hold and you're going to click on share and then from here on the setup wizard you'll press and hold on setup wizard once you get to here you're going to go to storage clear cache clear data click on delete go back and you're gonna force stop the setup wizard and you're gonna go back go back back and now if you didn't do all of that you're not gonna see this next screen uh, what you're gonna do is click next and normally this doesn't appear so what you're gonna do is click on skip on the email setup and then from here you're gonna to go to my verizon mobile and this is where you're gonna need your verizon account or you can honestly sign in if you know anybody else that has one you can sign into their account um, it's not going to be a permanent thing to where it's tied to the device we're just logging into the account in order to get to another link so i'm gonna sign into mine now okay so once you've gotten signed into your account um, if you're a Verizon customer, I'm sure you've probably seen this before where it shows a picture of your security question. Uh, just go ahead and uncheck the register this device. And from here we're going to go ahead and click back. Back. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, from right here you're going to click on done. And it should crash uh, after this. Click on skip. Now it's going to keep crashing saying that the phone's not signed in and to set up phone. 
which is fine. It's going to keep doing that. So now what you're going to do is reboot the phone. And once this gets rebooted, it should be into the phone, uh, just like normal. And from there, we can go ahead and set up our Google account, and it'll be completely unlocked. Well, uh, reset protection unlocked. There we go. So now you would just go to settings and then accounts, add account, Google, and you'll see here that it does not tell you that it's factory reset protected anymore. You can sign in with your own device or uh, your own email address. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please try to be as descriptive as possible. Um, let me know what phone you have, you know, the make, the model, uh, what version of Android that you're currently on, and even what carrier you have, because I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys that are just a couple words long, and I don't, I don't know any details, and I, I try to help as much as I can, but there's only so much I can do with limited information. So, uh, if you like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.